it's Natalie Elphinstone here uh, and this is going to be my very last video for Illustrated Faith because my time on the team has sadly come to an end and so I thought the most fitting way that I could think of to finish things off was to give you a bit of a run through or a walk through of um, some of my most favorite entries in my journaling bible. Now I've pulled these things out because I wanted to show you of course that I illustrate my faith in um, lots of other places as well and I know that I've briefly showed you some of these things before. You know there's the journaling book here, um, there's my dory which uh, I keep all of my devotionals in um, where I've done a lot of illustrating, there's the uh, faith planner that I've been documenting things in as well um, and there are entries in there as well as the praise book which I've also um, filled in pages for as well but of course um, the most common place where I've illustrated my faith is in my journaling bible and so I just literally thought I'm gonna sort of start at the start and see how far I can kind of get through this video in this sort of short amount of time um, I keep it's funny like in the in the start I've got still this Bible belongs to and I still have never filled out that title page um, and I've been doing this journaling Bible ever since the beginning of sort of my illustrated faith journey which is about I think it's 18 months or so now um, and so you can see sort of how fat it's got over that time and I don't know like every time I look through this it's it's a bit of a surprise sometimes to remind myself of the pages that I've done um, or the pages that my kids have done like this one's dating back to May of 2015 uh, this is another kids entry which is also in May of 2015 um, but there's some really special memories in here like this is a tiny tiny little entry right like it's not even hardly anything but that's when I was um, pregnant I remember doing this when I was pregnant and uh, secretly planning on what we were going to call our third child which was Judah and this is the verse that talks about the origins of the name of Judah and, it, and it's about this time I will praise the Lord um, and so that's what that tiny little entry was about and I didn't write anything else at the time because I hadn't actually given birth yet um, but you can see you know why these pages just spark happy memories and uh, have documented amazing times in my life and the things that I have learnt uh, as you know spiritually or on my Christian walk but as as well as sort of on my artistic walk or um, you know with illustrated faith and the different products that I've used and the different techniques that I've done and again these memories from uh, my children which are going to be so important in the future this is one of my most favorite pages of all time um, because it's talking about how we are created to create which is exactly what this whole illustrated faith movement is all about oh I feel like I'm getting a little teary sorry guys um oh look at that isn't that beautiful that one's done by my right my by my Mariah who's six years old um, so perfect right so perfect um, pages that haven't necessarily turned out so fabulously well artistically but which um, have you know documented or journaled um, things that I've learnt or heard about lots of I've got lots of printables in here uh, and lots of stamping this was this page was actually the very second page that I ever ever did um, and so I learnt things like this like uh, wait until your page dries before you stamp because it might bleed and it will definitely bleed through the back and it will definitely bleed to the next page if you've overdone it with the water. There's some really fun things I did like remember that tutorial I did once where I sewed these plastic flowers um, and filled them with glitter? How cool is that? I should really do that again. Um, and having this black background that was kind of fun and something that I haven't kind of done anywhere else. Um, I'm probably going to skip over pages to be honest because I think some of them kind of hide in other pages uh, but sometimes when I've done sort of chunky sort of stickers or embellishments of course they pop out a bit more uh, look at sequins clearly one of my favorite things of all time you will see them uh, on lots of oh look you know that's the one that I did um, just earlier in this month 
and of course there's the video for that one up on the channel I don't think I'm missing anything in there um, Fun things. I remember I cut out these letters uh, on my silhouette when I don't get out my silhouette often enough. But another favourite, enamel dots. They're everywhere. Oh, good. F Look at this. Like, doesn't that just make an impact when you open up this page and you just kind of want to read then what this is all about? Um, love that yellow and blue. Lots, as I say, lots of these printables where I've been able to. I use them a lot to be able to journal on the back of. Um, when you've got a lot a lot of things to sort of say oh, Times where I've just been almost like experimenting with um, You know clearly that was experimenting with some kind of painting techniques and I haven't gone back and sort of journaled on there What that page was about but you know, of course sometimes it's or not sometimes always it's about actually spending time in the word and getting in here and just um, maybe encouraging you to spend more time in the Bible than perhaps you otherwise would and so I don't think that this is a bad thing I really obviously obviously I don't look at all of this fun stamping rainbows we're getting through the Old Testament isn't this cool? Like I, I think that um, this is kind of proof that I'm kind of gone through like so much of the Bible in this time. Like, as I say, this is my illustrated faith journey so far um, in the last 18 months. And you can, you know, by looking at how many entries I'm doing here, you can just tell at a glance about how much time I've spent in the Word and how many verses I've read and how many stories I've read and how many prayers I've prayed and how many dreams I've journaled um, which you know let's be honest um, if I wasn't illustrating my faith will would I have spent this much time in the word I don't know the answer to that but if for nothing else I think this movement has been about encouraging people to dig deeper into their Bibles and I don't think there is there is never any shame in that. Is that a fun page? I kind of like that one as well. And I think, you know, going through here um, captures sort of my style in a nutshell as well. Um, clearly you can see that I'm not somebody that does a lot of my, oh, I don't do any of my own illustrations. I'm either using paper or stamps um, for the decorations and often, oh, I say that and there's a little bit of drawing and often I'm um, just writing a lot of stuff and I hardly ever ever cover up the words or if I do I've done it in such a way that I can still read the words remember this this is one of my first um, tutorials I, in fact I wonder if this was my I think this might have been my very first video tutorial this page about creating these um, pop-up elements to your page how fun right Ah, uh, good uh, other, you know, su other supplies as well that I've been using. And then um, this is around about the time where Illustrated Face started putting out like their print and pray um, shop. And there is mountains, of course, which have always been a favorite. The traceables, where it looks like I've drawn this. And of course I have drawn this, but you don't need to know, or I'm gonna tell you that of course I traced that from one of the traceables, but you know, totally gonna, <laughs> you could almost, you know, say that, um, yeah, I drew that. Uh, this was, oh, these pages, of course, during my sort of cactus phase. This is still one of my favorite pages of all time. Like, it just packs a punch, I think. And it doesn't need to be all that complicated. Lots of ink, lots of paint fun times things where I've prepared to do something like I popped that flap of paper in because I really love this color and then I've never actually gone back to write anything on there but that's what that was about um, and then one of these times where I've gone crazy with like the the paints and the colors and uh, this is heat embossed here and my favorite statement like the Psalms I've, I've done lots of entries of course in the Psalms lots of this stamping Another page by Mariah. Oh, again, this was a very early on page. It's clearly a lot about the word for me, like just journaling out the word again. 
another one like I let my kids go to town like they can do whatever they want in my Bible if they want to cover up the words of course they're welcome to cover up the words this was another video tutorial I think was this another video tutorial could have been a uh, very special page because uh, this was the one I did when I was in hospital when I'd just given birth um, to Judah Okay, the family have just got home, so uh, they're probably going to crash the party, but um, let me continue to quickly go through these things for you because we're getting there. Um, but lots and lots and lots of these things. Fun stamping page by Mariah. Fun big stamping page for me, though. Mariah says hi. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Don't see that. <laughs> I will keep flipping. Um, yeah, as I say, clearly lots of the same sort of techniques that I do over and over again. And that's all right. You're allowed to. Clearly, you're allowed to. You do what comes naturally to you. you can, you're starting to gain an appreciation of how many times I've actually done this, right? Or let my kids do this. Let isn't that, me a, isn't this. that a fun one? <laughs> oh. Um, bit of a gap here, I think, as we're getting towards the end of the Old Testament. Lots of um, techniques from the kids that they're practicing as well. Ooh, that's pretty, that one, isn't it? One of the, um, one of my favourite pages. Isn't that really, really fun? And so much bleed through on the back, but who, who cares, right? <laughs> All right, let's skip through a bit. There's another one of these flip up pages. Oh, yes, love it. Lots of stamping. Um, popping pattern paper down the edge when you've done something on the back that might have bled through. That's a little trick I learnt if you were worried about the bleed through. Um, or uh, sticking in, there's another one of those printables for journaling on the back. Of course, um, mo a lot of my pages feature the illustrated faith stamps. Um, these cute animals, of course, um, by Jess Robin is always a favourite. I'm going to be using that stamp forever and ever. <laughs> Lots of pages, you know, that you wouldn't have ever seen me actually um, photograph or put on social media or, or put up anywhere because you know that's of course not what it's really supposed to be about it's about your journey right um, and writing more writing lots of writing all right skipping 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 right because it's you're getting a picture you're getting the picture new testament yay we've hit the new testament and I think I've spent you know clearly just as much time in the old testament as the new testament for my bible journaling and it's just so satisfying to go through these things and just know how much I've learnt during this journey. A good Easter page, Palm Sunday page. And then I know that coming up here will be some good Christmas pages as well. Oh, before there, there's another Easter one. So there's some seasonal journaling as well. And then, yeah, these, I know these are from... Um, some Christmas stuff and this is definitely Christmas journaling here Advent ah uh, yeah here we go last the previous video um, it's dried nicely right dried very nicely with no sort of bleed through on the back at all skipping 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 if you wanted to see these pages, um, you might need to just keep on actually pausing the video, right, and having a look. If you if you wanted to see them in, you know, anything longer than like a second, because there's just lots, of course, that I've done here. Oh, one of my favourites. I loved that that um, star burst or sun burst, but the rainbow colours as well. Big washi tape. That was fun. Sometimes, of course, they don't need to be excessive big entries. You don't have to fill the whole column in one go. You can just do little bits. You can make complete messes. I've shared that with you and this page as well. 
um, you can add in extra pages or extra you know flippy things to add stuff on the back you can do double pages um, where they can coordinate or don't have to coordinate you can go crazy with watercolors and say I don't care if it bleeds through on the back you can get your kids to um, you know put your memorabilia in your Bible as well you can document your own journey about how I'm created to create. You can experiment with techniques that you haven't been familiar with before, but you just want to give them a go without any worry about the consequences of how it's going to turn out. You can use other um, scrapbooking products very easily in your Bibles. Um, you can try out different techniques. This was a fun sort of masking technique that I did on that page that time. You can stick with the stuff that you know, flamingo stamping, and you can go out with rainbow colors and go crazy and know that this is all just representative of the journey that you've been on and the things that you are learning. And we're nearly there so happy um, that all of these pages just represent me and, <laughs> and Judas says hello as well. Ah, uh, that's a fun one as well. Making sort of 3D pieces in here. And we're going out, I'm nearly done, nearly finished. Lots of stamping still, and I think I do have some pages in Revelation just to finish off. In fact, I believe I've got one. The last one is on the very last page about um, worshipping God, the Alpha and the Omega. And that's a perfect way to end, isn't it? I want to thank all of you guys for your continual sort of support and encouragement over this time. And you know that I'm not going to stop illustrating my faith, uh, and I will be sure to see you guys around. Thank you very much. I'm out. See you.